Um, so here's, they couldn't power wash it, I guess, but here's a swash dicker. Edward Russell and his wife Mitzi call it a hate crime. Pictures that included uh, on the same dugout wall, uh, a swastika, uh, penis, our son's name, well, before a derogatory word, our son's name. Earlier this month, four 18-year-old seniors at Vanden High School in Fairfield spray painted those images along with other derogatory comments about the LGBT community and people with disabilities on the campus's softball field. We was like, wow. And so my wife immediately said, well, that's a hate crime. And the officer said, yeah. According to Edward, the students responsible were suspended for five days. The police report says they were also required to pay for $2,000 in cleanup fees, but otherwise the district asked they not be charged. Edward says that's not enough, and now he, along with the NAACP, want the school to take further action and call it a hate crime. These individuals are still in class with my son. They have access to him. Can you remove? I said, I want them removed. So these kids are being protected, but they did something that they shouldn't have done. And they should, be, they should get called on it. They should be disciplined for it. Last week, the district sent this update to parents stating that offensive graffiti had been found on campus and apologizing that some of it was still visible and had not been adequately removed. But you can see where they clearly been power washing the stuff off. Asked about discipline against the students responsible, the superintendent said this. We were able to administer the appropriate disciplinary action pursuant to California Education Code. Those comments made the same day Vandom High School closed due to a violent threat against the school. The two incidents not connected, but knowing their son was targeted earlier this month, Edward says it's unsettling. Yesterday at the game, I'm looking over my shoulder, seeing who's coming so I can protect him just in case something happens. Somebody, somebody took that from me.